Hey guys, welcome to the Whimsical Workshop. I have an exciting surprise to open today, so let's get started. Yay! All right, so I had mentioned in some earlier videos that we were going to do our very first mystery quilt and we're going to be doing it with cotton cuts Dot com. So this is not my pattern. This is a project from cottoncuts.com. You can go ahead and you can subscribe to do the mystery quilts over there. It's a 10 month program um, and they die cut all the shapes. At least I was told they do. This is the very first package. So I thought each month I would do one, do the block inside, share it with you. And then um, at the end, you'll see what we made. I've never done a mystery quilt, so I thought it'd be fun to try one, and I thought it would be fun to do it with you guys. So here it is, and I have not marked out my address yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it with my thumb on there if I can. I have not opened it yet, so I wanted to wait to do it with you guys. And this just showed up, this is the first block. And I, ooh, there's all kinds of goodies in here, all right. Let's see what we got. So we have all kinds of stuff. Let's see what we got. Let's open this one up first. And what's really fun about this mystery project, which is why I picked it to do, is that you could pick what color fabrics you wanted. They had like six or eight choices. Um, I will pop up a little thing here to show you. Uh, so we got two pens, so we don't forget where we're doing it from. And yes, they're contrasting colors, one of which I love, and I am not an orange fan, but they look really pretty together. Um, but I like the idea that I could pick whatever colors I wanted to do this quilt. So this here is make so a latte, make a mug rug. So there's two little charm squares in there. I doubt that's part of the mystery. Then we've got all our pieces all laid out really pretty, and I don't wanna mess these up, so you can see mine is purple and pink and blue. And then here is another, and I'm assuming they're in two stacks for two reasons. We'll find out here in a minute. And there's the pink. Um, originally I had picked all gray quilt to do, but then I decided that um, I really wanted to make something that I was going to use. So I went to, there it is, there is my color scheme. So I have the Able Skeever. So this is the 2022 Spring Puzzle Mystery Quilt. So sweet. And they've done some really cute stuff before this even started. The whole month before, they did like a bingo game online that you could go ahead and play and win prizes. Every Friday, um, they like to pick just a customer at random and they send them a goodie basket and they post that online. They're very interactive with their customers and I like that. Um, and this one, I just, I found this online. I didn't have anyone recommend it to me, but I thought it'd be really, really fun. So then they give you all the tips and tricks. Then they say, open your calendar, mark your calendar, because the fall one will open up on May 23rd. Because my understanding is these do sell out. And once they've sold out, they don't make new ones. So if you're really interested, I would go sign up. And I have nothing to do with these guys. I just bought this, so I'm not, you know, and certainly not being uh, sponsored by this. They always say if something's not quite right, um, contact them, they'll see if they can help you. They tell you the ship dates for each clue. They tell you about their Facebook group and if you have general questions. And again, they give me this little brochure telling me what fabric is what. So when I'm following the pattern, I know this is A, B, C, D, E, F, binding. Um, I did talk to a friend that has done this before with this company and they said make sure you hang on to this because you only get this thing one time. So wherever you put your block, your mystery blocks, keep your little chart because you will need it to reference each month when you do it. Let's see what else we got here. All right so cotton cuts block of the month. This is February 2022. There's a little coloring chart and then they tell you how to do a heart block. I'm not sure that this is. Yeah, so this is something else. This is this is just a little mystery thing. Um, so you can do whatever you want. This is separate from that. It's a little confusing the first time you open it because you're not sure what goes with what. But I'm assuming these are just goodies. And this looks like my block. And then we got our first clue and it tells you how to piece your block. 
tells you what you should have in your thing. It tells you your missing pieces and it goes on to give me the rest of the directions. So I will go ahead and sew this up. You'll see this at the second half of the video. I just really wanted to open this and share it with you. Um, they do give you a whole evidence oops kit. So mystery quilt evidence that's really cute. So these are all my little fabrics if I need to fix something. Um, and then there's this little mystery baggie. It says, thank you for your support. I mean, I have to say kudos to their packaging. So far, so good. Oh, how sweet. So they give you a, it's a coloring calendar. How cute is that? So you sit there in color and you guys all know I have a huge marker collection, so I certainly can play with that. And then you've got, Oh, a very, very cool magnet, which I like. I love color and that's just, it is a very cute logo. I think they did a great job on the logo. All right, so now that I've unpacked, opened everything up and shared it with you, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing started. And the first thing I would do if this was, um, it is me, so I guess this is what I'm going to do. But uh, I don't use a lot of other people's patterns, but when I do, this is what I would do. First thing is I would double check that I have what they say I should have. And now that I know what is A, B, C, D, what I would do is I would stack up the fabrics in order. So these are D, this is C. And you can tell it's C, it's a little, it's very close, but it's a little darker. This is F. And then these are A and B. And then what I would do is I could label them with a little sticker. So I remember what's A, B, C, D. I do have my little chart, so it's really up to you if you want to do that. And so like I said, I will go through and count all my pieces and then it'll tell you Seam allowances are quarter inch. Press, they give you arrow pressing directions, which is nice. That means somebody's actually sewn this. Let me get these all counted up and then I'll start sewing my units and I will share the units with you as we build the block. Okay, so I have gotten all of my triangles and rectangles counted. I've gone ahead and sewn the triangles together and now I'm laying out the sections we need to sew 16 of the ADs to the A, and then we've got the blue version, and then we've got these little frames over here. So I'm gonna go ahead, because this isn't a tutorial, I'm not gonna go through exactly what I'm sewing, but I wanna show you just how quick and easy this, this seems to be going together for me. And I also want to uh, let you know, I think these are die cut, not laser cut, because they don't have the little rough edges and everything has been so far so good on the sizes. So kudos to Cotton Cuts for that as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and get the blocks sewn up. I'll show you what they look like at the end and then we will be ready for the next month. So let me hop over to the sewing machine and I'll be back. All right, so here are my blocks for block one, or block one. Here are my blocks for month one of the Cotton Cuts Mystery Quilt. We'll be back next month with another one to share with you. Again, this is just something I have bought and decided to um, share with you guys in the video. Uh, if you're interested or have any questions, you will need to go to Cotton Cuts. I will leave the link for that below. Uh, but this month they had us make eight of these and two of these. And I have to tell you that, you know, as my first four way into a mystery quilt, the fact that everything is cut and ready to roll and these directions were super, super easy to follow. Um, so far so good, but we are only in month one. We've got nine more months to go. So until next month, this is it for the Cotton Cuts. I will see you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna be notified each time we do a video. And I thank you for watching.